Hey guys, welcome to an episode of Posted and Fishing. Today is the answers to the Q&A posted on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Um, so send me some questions you guys might have. A couple of people have asked me to do this video from before. So gonna get that done, um, Q&A and any assumptions you had about me. So we're gonna go through each of the platforms like last time. We'll start with Facebook, we'll go to Instagram, then we'll go to YouTube and answer as much as the questions as possible. Don't want to make the video too long, so not sure how much I'll be able to answer, but I will try my best to answer all, because I do appreciate you guys sending any comments and questions, no matter how good or bad they were. So let's go and dive right into it. Um, I'll start off with Facebook. So we had uh, one question, well, a comment slash question. It's from Glenn Sitahal. Good day. Well, first of all, great videos, bro. Thanks, I appreciate it. He said, I noticed you have your people to fish with and it's very hard for a fishing fan to go on a trip with. But I think by letting a fan go on a trip with you, you'll get more views and ratings. Because we, the fans, love to get on the action with you guys. Thanks for reading my post and fish on. Well, Glenn, this is something I've been wanting to do or want to try to do for the longest while. But time is always limited for me. In my job, in my work, my everyday life, time is very limited. Anytime that we do go fishing with the squad, it's just like uh, one off once a weekend, once every two weekends, maybe I might get to go with the squad. Um, so it's very limited, but I do want to fish with you guys. If I can fish with all of you, I would for sure, because I appreciate you guys. And you know, I'd like to you know have, have a good time. I sure it be a, a, a fun experience to fish with some of you. So I will be doing it soon, but how to choose someone to fish with, it's a difficult thing. So that's why I have the, well, I don't know if you have seen on social media, the hat competition is going to be to fish with the crew. So that I will, at the end of this video, I'll talk about how um, that's going to happen, how you're going to get the fish with the crew. And that's you know, one way that's to try and you know, get, choose someone to go because that's to choose someone randomly. It's difficult. So many people want to go and fish with the crew. So that's how we're going to do it. So watch really any video and you'll see the details for that fishing trip giveaway. Should be pretty cool. Christian, not nice John, had commented on that. He said, Kosa, I ain't waiting for no reply. I come down from Grenada early next year with my bro to meet up with you and snook. And I want a fish. <laughs> I want fishing ship. So hopefully we can make that happen, bro. Now that's Facebook. We're going on to Instagram. Instagram, we had quite a few questions. And we're just going to go top to bottom, as, answer as fast as possible. 868.salty. When you're making a tide with me. Hoping too soon, bro. Be catching on to all the fish. Leave some for me to catch now. So we're organized very soon. James underscore k underscore real underscore bajan guessing he from barbados what would be your dream catch i would love to fish with morning tide and catch a big gt my dream catch while a gt would be pretty good i wish i hope to catch one one day but my dream catch is a monster snapper any kind of monster snapper but i think the one i really prefer is to get a monster kubera on artificial probably somewhere like colombia panama but that's my dream catch a monster kubera snapper um, 30 pounds on over, I ain't asking for too much. That is my ultimate dream catch. My other dream catch was a monster snook. I actually caught one. So you can check that one off the list. So that's my number one. A GT will be up at the end list as well. I also want to catch a monster peacock bass and a monster wolfish. All those are up on the list. Next question is from Flounderboy47. Where do you see your YouTube channel in the future? Well, bro, no huge or big plans for the channel. Just want to keep posting videos as often as I could and make good, enjoyable videos for you guys. I mean, YouTube is a huge platform. There are so many people doing the videos now, uh, not like back in the day. Even when I started, there weren't much people doing local videos. Now there are quite a few of them. So I mean, it's great content. I'd love to see local content, local videos. So for me, my plan is just to keep posting as often as I could. I mean, at, at least once a week, we'll do, I try to post one good fishing video, once time permits. But just, you know, to enjoy it and let the channel continue to grow, however slowly, um, and just enjoy posting the videos. Because I do enjoy fishing, I love the editing, well, starting to love the editing, and I enjoy when you guys watch it and appreciate it. Hans Maraj underscore two, what did you buy from Monkey Sale? Bro, I don't want to sit down on camera because my wife might be watching. She's not here right now. But then, the one thing I did buy, I, buy, I bought a new rod a new seven foot um, tsunami carbon shield two rod i love the rod uh, i picked it up very nice rod so we're going to be starting to use that soon i have to get a real fit thinking we're real to buy so when you see that when i get a real then i'll show you that combo 
Next question is from Ritesh Ralph underscore 4043. Could you make a fishing competition where fans can come and go to catch fish, but it's shore fishing and the best fish wins? Um, I did have plans for that bro, but the logistics and getting it done, it takes a lot of doing and planning. And a major setback for me right now is a good location where you could actually catch fish and people could actually get to. So it's something to think about in the future. Hopefully we can get it done. Uh, when I, once I do, once I have details sorted out, I will post it and let you guys know. FT.Alex asks, if you had one place to live in the world for the rest of your life, where would it be? Trinidad, bro. I love Trinidad. No matter how good or bad it is, Trinity the bone. Joey underscore Mahoney 15. When are you going to do a good release on Attack 1? Still learning, bro. Hopefully soon. Um, maybe you could post up some videos and I can learn from you as well. Need to do it better. Underscore KXNG underscore summary. Do you play any cricket? And if you do, what is your favorite side? Well, bro, I used to play cricket, but these days I have no time for it. I do like, I did like to play. To, to say I like to play now, mm, not so much because um, it's not as fun as it was for me back in the day. Plus I have a bad shoulder. And I used to watch real cricket, but I have no players to watch again. All my favorite players retire. <laughs> Brian Lara, Kalupa, as the earlies. I used to like um, AVD Villas, Hashim Amla. I don't really have anybody to watch in cricket anymore, so I hardly watch cricket. My favorite side, I don't even have a favorite side anymore. Used to be South Africa, not anymore. Wicked Boss asked about fishing tournament. Well, bro, answered that a little while ago. Certified.Adam, what is your favorite law? Um, my favorite law still might have to be the DOA Cal um, because it's, I've got the most amount of fish on it. And very highly ranking right now is the Uzuri um, that I caught the snook on. Um, I love that law as well. I've used it all over the different sizes and it works really well. Cast really far, great hooks and a great looking law. But I do love laws in general. I just like to buy them. I don't even use all of them. And Certified Adam also asks, how do you get your laws to cast far? Well, the key thing with casting light laws far, far, light, not heavy laws far is to have the correct line and rod and reel set up. Now to cast light laws, you need light line. Um, when me and ZZ were fishing for carry, the laws were pretty light. We're using up as low as eight pound test. And the rod as well, like a six foot six to seven foot rod is ideal. And the reel, it depends again on where you're fishing, but uh, anything around 2,500 to 4,000, spool with the right line can get you to cast fine up. Light line, eight pound test, 15 pound test maximum in braid. Um, if you want to cast intro artificials, light tackle. Mono, 10 to 12 pound test maximum. Shouldn't get anything higher than that. And you put a leader to the pong, you should be good to go. Joshua Messi 75. What is your best experience while fishing? Now, I have, I have had a lot of good experiences um, over the years. Um, fishing, me and Rosai had one time where we were fishing and we caught, I caught about maybe 10 to 12 snapper in about 15 minutes. That was awesome. That was a long time ago with my brother and uh, my father and my, my little cousins. We were small, but that was a real nice experience. The other one was me and my brother as well. Uh, the first big snook ever caught on artificial, probably the first fish ever caught on artificial, just because of the circumstances and situation. That was a great experience, just me and him. And then, well, the last one, I think the number one now was that last snook because of the effort I did, the size of the fish and the setting. That was a great fishing experience for me. And I think that's my number one ranking fishing experience. It's Justin One. Can you tell us some good locations where you fish? Where I fish any and everywhere that has water, and I tell everybody the same wherever I have water, give it a try. Every spot is a secret spot until you find it. Andrew Samuel asks the same thing. We have some best fishing locations. There are no best fishing locations. You just have to try and fish everywhere. Sometimes some days we'll have fish. Other times they won't have anything. Shore based fishing is difficult, um, but you need to just keep on trying and trying until you find a spot that works for you. Andrew Samuel also asks what kind of GoPro do you use? Well, I lost my two GoPro Hero 5s. You recently got the GoPro Hero 7. Um, so that's what I'm using right now. 868.pix, what is the best spot for videography? Well, I think any spot could be a good spot for videography. Um, it all depends on the lighting, the timing of the day. You can get sunsets or sunrises anywhere. Uh, but any ocean spot, any spot um, with mangroves, anything could be a great uh, spot for videography. And 868.rams here, what's a good law for law or do you to hold snooks? Well, DOA is my, DOA is my number one law for snook. Um, the glow, electric chicken, um, the gold and glow, 
all great DOAs. Also use Berkeley's a lot, the Berkeley Ripple Shard. You can check those out. Great low for snook as well. And 868.pigs, how do you start fishing and vlogging it? I've always been fishing, love fishing ever since I was small. Um, started the vlogging because my wife got me a GoPro because when I was younger, I always wish I had something to record the, the fishing experiences. And the GoPro was like, wow, a revelation. My wife bought one for me. I mean, I would never bought one for myself. And I started to film random videos. And eventually I came across the YouTube platform and I thought it was pretty cool. I saw a couple of local YouTubers. I was referred to like Vince Taunton. He's a local YouTuber that I saw. And I watched the quality of his videos and you know, that kind of inspired me. You know, in a trainee, you could do the videos as well. So, I mean, I watch a lot of fishing YouTubers and I just, you know, started and I enjoy it. I enjoy fishing. I love fishing. Film it is also a great experience. Editing the videos and posting that for you guys to watch is, is pretty cool. And I, I enjoy, I really enjoy when you guys enjoy the videos and, you know, you leave comments and you share the videos. I appreciate it. All right, so that's it for Instagram. We're going to YouTube now. The video is running pretty long. So I'll see how to, what I have to cut out, what I can leave in. And I want to thank everyone for sending in their questions. I appreciate it. Without the questions, I wouldn't have a video to do. Okay, going from YouTube now, YouTube community feature. Emilio Ramlochan, sus subscriber fishing challenge versus the CoSem squad. Yeah, we could do that. Um, it's had a final spot, but I think all might beat me. You never know. But well, it's a good idea. You could probably think about getting that done. Uh, Nigel Sukdeo. You can write a local fishing book. I don't think anyone has ever done it. Can't think of anyone more appropriate for the job. Yeah, bro, I do like writing. Um, I plan on writing some books in the future, not necessarily local fishing book. I think there is one local fishing book already. Um, I might not have the full expertise to write on local fishing, because you know, I do certain types of fishing, but maybe it's a good idea. Maybe I could try to get something started and get some help from other more experienced fishermen and put together a book. So that's a pretty good idea. i will look into that for sure. Um, Romero, Ramtahal, what's your favorite public place to fish, not a secret place, a place where you can see. Uh, I love to fish maracas, <laughs> easiest fishing ever, you throw a line and catch a fish. Um, one experience I had in Cedar Street was awesome as well, so two good places. Pro Player 703, what's your favorite kind of fish to eat and what's your favorite kind of fish to catch? Hashtag Kusim is the best fisherman in TNT, yeah bro, I appreciate that comment. <laughs> favorite kind of fish to eat for me is the blackfin tuna. Uh, it's the best fish I've ever eaten. I love to eat it. Um, ranks pretty high. Below that might be ancho. Ancho is a great tasting fish. And maybe after that is snapper. But um, I usually like most kind of fish now because my, my wife cooks fish like better than anybody I've ever tasted it from. She has some secret recipe that, you know, most fish taste good. My wife is a boss. Working just in time to hear that. What is it? My wife is the best cook, cook of fish of all time. All right, next, one, next one's from Alex Ramke soon. How do you get time to fish so often? Bro, I don't get time to fish often. I don't fish often. I haven't actually fished for the last two, three weeks. Um, but I try to, when I, whatever time I do get, I try to make it worthwhile and get some footage for you guys. So that's why it might look like I fish often. Gemma, Maiku, can you make a vid of catching and cooking cascadura? Yes, for sure I want to do that. I just need to find some way to catch the cascadu. And well, to cook it, it might be a challenge, but I'll try it. But that's a, definitely a plan for the future. Zahir Khan, what gets you motivated to keep fishing when things are slow? We just haven't had a great fishing, a great experience fishing. But that's what fishing is all about. Um, a lot of times you go fishing, you don't catch anything, but it's just the anticipation and the hope and the promise to get something that keeps you going. So to keep trying, like I also keep fishing. Never stop because that's what fishing is. You don't always catch fish, but you need to enjoy the experience while you're fishing. When you're fishing with a crew as well, it always always helps. Maybe when you're fishing a bite and you're just talking and you know having a good time, eventually you might get some fish to bite. Trillex asks, what kind of fishing do you like more? My favorite type of fishing is shore base, uh, light tackle artificial. That's my number one type. It's the most for me it's the most challenging and also the most rewarding. So that's my number one type. Other than that, I do like live bait fishing. Um, it's a pretty exciting type of fishing, so those are my top two. We also, ask, Trilex also asks, do you always use artificial? No, I don't. Like I said, um, it's my favorite type of fishing to do, but I do like live bait, um, banking, and and things like down the islands and the shallows and things. It, it's uh, it's the easiest way for me to catch fish. I do enjoy it, but um, the challenge is not as significant like artificial bait fishing. I think it's a, a lot easier to do that kind of fishing, so I like a little bit more of a challenge. 
DJ Smalls. Coast, good day. My name is Raj. Like all your videos. Question: What laws do you recommend more for carry and snook? Well, I do have a video specifically specifically for carry. You can check that out on the channel. I'll try and leave a link for you. Um, carry like spoons, usually black bags, um, and some they also like bocktail jigs. Snook for sure. The UA. Um, they'll take the Berkeley Ripple Shads, they'll take um, mocktail jigs as well. So check through some of the videos you see me using mostly the US for the snook because they just love that and I also have other videos specifically for carry it. Malik asks, hi Kose, what laws do you recommend for surf fishing besides spoon? Well, number one for sure is spoons, um, casting distance wise and the all round, like any fish will take a spoon, that's why you use spoons most of the time for surf fishing. But it depends on which surf you're fishing in, you can use different things. Like in Maracas, I've caught snook on, on Berkeley's, on the UAs, on bucktails. Um, other beaches, you could use the bucktails as well. But you need to get the distance casting as the most important thing when you're fishing from your surf. Chan Rampasad, how old are you? Look like 20. I, I look like 20, I wish I was 20. I'm over 30. Yeah, probably look now getting some green in the beard and thing. But my dad and I love your vids, keep it up and I wish you can get 10k subs by the end of the year. I wish that too, bro, but it might happen at the end of the year, but when it happens, it happens. Keep going. Ravi Maraj, what is your actual profession? How does it tie into your fishing life? Well, bro, I'm a, a marketing and management consultant. Um, that's what I do right now. It, how does it tie into your fishing life? Um, well, besides that, me and my wife we also have a catering business, and I also do a couple other things on the side as well. So fishing time is very limited based on my current work schedule and work environment. So that is, it doesn't really, my fishing life is, like I said, it's limited. Maybe eventually I might have more time to fish and that's my ultimate goal. I was hoping that would happen already, but you know, you gotta pay the bills. So we have priorities to see about. How can fishing crew? Can you go live with one of your fishing trips? You know, I'll try to do that. I've never really thought about it because my style is more, you know, get the footage, edit it and post a video. Um, but I'll think about going live. It seems like a good option. Ricardo Sami, where you bought those peacock bass and the price? Well, my partner actually got these for me, partner Jared, thanks Jared. Um, not sure exactly where he got it, and the price was 150 for one. But I have seen them selling on Facebook, Caribbean Betters. On Facebook, you can check him out, he, I think he has a few right now. Neal Jagdeo, can you do a meet and greet, even though I already met you? By the way, love your videos. Um, a few people asked for meet and greet. Um, something that we can think about, again, to coordinate and get it done. It does take some doing. But like I said, a few people have asked for it and I'll try to get that in place sometime in the future. We'll see how it goes. Trini Pescado, dream place to go catch fish, salt water. Well, my dream place to go catch fish, I have a lot of places I would love to go. But I think definitely one of them is Colombia because I saw some videos with guys fishing in Colombia, catching big cuberas on artificial, that's my dream fish. And you also have the chance of catching big rooster fish, different types of snapper, grouper, all on artificials and that's something I wish I could get to do. So Colombia, I would also like to try Panama and maybe one day get to Australia because the fishing there is insane. Nigel Sukdeo, I can tell you come from a strong family background, manners, courtesy, consideration and values when still in you from a young age. Those are my assumptions. We're glad you think that. I mean, I try my best to portray those qualities. I do, I can say I did come from a fairly strong family background. My grandparents, my grandfather, my grandmother, and also my mother as well would have taught me from young to try you know, to be the best person that I could. So I'm thankful for them and especially my mother would have done a lot to, to, you know, to show me and instill those values in me. Like I said, I try to be the best as I can. It's important. Blazing Jay's fishing crew. Bro, what do you think about your family day with all your supporters? Yeah, bro, I just talk about our meet and greet. It's something I definitely have to look into because I see a few comments with it. It's just, you know, to plan the lo location and stuff like that. You know, I'll think about how best we can do it and we, can, we will get it done eventually. Nigel also said, so some of them meet and greet ideas are great. You can autograph fishing gear and use, I mean, I don't sure about autographing, I don't know people autographs and stuff like that. But the family day will be a cool idea, get to meet as much of you guys as possible and meet and greet. So I like for sure, we'll, we'll try to get that done. Nigel also asks, what do you do with all the fish you catch? Well, bro, I eat as much as I can because I've been, um, it has been suggested to me by doctors and whatnot to eat more fish. So I try to eat as much as I can, but we also, once I have fish, I give away to as much people as I can. You know, um, family, friends, neighbors, um, anybody. If I have a lot of, if we do catch a lot of fish, a lot of people benefit from it. Just, you know, so that's, that's that one good thing we try to do at, at all times. 
Next question is from Trini Nature Boys. What advice do you have for a small upcoming YouTuber? Well, myself, of course. Great videos, by the way. So Trini Nature Boys, I guess you can check out his channel. I'll check it out as well. Um, the advice for a small upcoming YouTuber, number one thing is just to keep posting. Keep posting and become consistent. The more you post, the more you film, the more you edit, your videos will continue to get better and better, and you will get better at doing it. And you know, things might start off slow, but just keep at it, be consistent and keep posting. You will grow eventually and you will, you will reach where you want to be. So look forward to, I'll check out your videos, we'll look forward to more from you as well, guys. Next question is from Steve Rambran. When you're going to do a giveaway, um, not too sure, I did quite a few recently. I'll, I'll do some more soon. Keep on looking on the social media pages, see what could be done. Charles Devoe. I believe. Where is the place in Westmoreland? Where is the place in Westmoreland? Where, is the place in Westmoreland? Is the river where you fish? That's at our family's house. We fish behind India Yard. <laughs> Atif Singh, what's your favorite type of fishing too? I mentioned that before. Light tackle, artificial, shore based fishing. Ravi BDC, when are you going back to catch a wonderful wolf fish? Soon. Never want to stay too far from catching wolf fish. Very fun. Hopefully, me and ZZ get hit the dam soon. Neil Manilal, I guess you said, when are you going offshore? Why do we love the bids? Open to go very soon, so look out for videos for, the, for those offshore trips very soon. Hookers Fishing Crew, a meet and greet, yeah, bro, meet and greet coming. Gemma said, Can you do a meet and greet? Yes. Um, Ravi BDC asks, Where to next? I guess he asks, Where are going to fish next? I really want to go and try to get some offshore fish. I need some fish to eat, the freezer is bare. So maybe some mahi mahi, even salmon, anything I'll get a chance to catch. I would love to go. So, guys, I tried to answer this. Everyone's questions, that was a lot. I'm not sure how much I'll be posting in the video because it's already 25 minutes running on the camera. So I'll post as much as I can. I'll try to answer as much as I can. I didn't want to leave out anybody. Just the time restriction, you know, it's, it's the one to make it too long. So the final thing I want to talk about is, like I mentioned earlier, is the chance to fish with us, fish with the COSEM crew. All right, so if you've been following me on social media, you'll see that I've been posting up uh, and we're going to give a fishing trip with the COSEM crew. Um, to enter the trip is pretty simple. You just need a Coast M hat. Or if you have probably bought a Coast M jersey before, I'll also allow that as well. It's very simple to enter. I'll post up in a couple of weeks. Um, all you have to do is simply to post a picture of you wearing the hat or the jersey. If you don't want to be in the picture itself, you can just post up in you know, a back, wear any cap backwards and post a picture of it. Or even hold the hat in front of you and, and take a picture and post it. And that's all you need to do to enter that competition. I know a couple, uh, quite a few people would have bought hats by monkeys at the sale, people have bought hats before, but I'm giving you guys a chance, to, who haven't had a chance to get a hat as well, I'm giving you guys up until, I'll say maybe Christmas, to, to get a hat for yourself so you can enter the competition. After that, boxing day, a few days after, I'll post up the actual post where you have to post the picture, and it's as simple as that to enter. You don't have to do anything, just have to have a hat or post them jersey and post a picture. Now I'm going to be awarding three winners, three, not one, not two, but three. Uh, the first winner will be chosen by most likes on the photo. That's a straightforward um, winner. The other two winners will be random choices. So anyone will have a chance to win. Anyone who posts a picture of the hat or the jersey, wearing any hat or jersey, you can win that fishing trip with us. I'll also let the winners choose what kind of fishing trip they want to do. If it's a banking in the shallows, um, banking down the islands, or even if you want to do an inshore trip to go and catch some tap one, no problem. I'll carry you guys to catch a tap one. So let me. So the winner will get to choose that. So you have three options, and you know I think it'll be a pretty cool trip. Of course, you must be okay with getting it filmed and posted on YouTube. So I hope you're okay with that. Right. So I said the commission will be posted close to the end of the year. I give you guys till until Christmas to get a hat face if you haven't got one already. If you want one, you can always comment below, message me on Facebook or Instagram. Monkey has some still as well, so you can check them out as well. So get yourself a hat. Enter the competition. You're gonna get to fish with us. I know a lot of people would like to fish with us. This is the one we like to actually choose somebody. It's difficult to just choose somebody randomly. So I hope you guys can enter and hope we can get to fish together soon. So thanks for watching this video. If you watched to the end, thanks a lot because I know it's a bit longer than you expected. Again, I appreciate everyone who, who sent in questions. Without it, I wouldn't have a video. And I appreciate everyone who can use to watch, support, comment, and share the videos. Remember, the most important thing is to share the videos. I really appreciate it when you do. And the more you share, the more the channel grows, the more I can post. So thanks a lot for watching guys, keep fishing, always keep fishing, fish on.